Well, I mean, people think the dream comes easy. You know, they're like, man, you're so lucky. You get to just skateboard and have fun for a living. And it's like, yeah, you know, I get to skateboard and have fun for a living, but like they don't see the side where it's a lot of work. You know, I think a lot of kids need to realize that your favorite skaters, uh, they work really hard, harder than you think. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on, but that doesn't take away from the fact that we're traveling the world, we're having fun, we're meeting new people, new cultures. It's like the funnest life I can imagine. So I'm blessed to have it. So I've noticed like every year, you know, I travel somewhere new and I feel like every year it's like a new group of kids start skating and they're getting younger and younger and they're getting better and better. Like the kids you see next year in 10 years will be the best skaters ever, you know. Like the best skaters in five years aren't skating, you know, or they might, they might have just started skating. So it's cool to see how the sport, as it grows, younger kids are getting into it and it's becoming more of a more accessible to more people, I suppose. So that's, that's cool to see. <laughs> Let me put my swag, man. <laughs> go, go, go. Good. Good. Reservoir Park. One, two, three. Well, I barely woke this morning on the cold ground by the sea. And I open up my eyes and those black clouds are all I see. And I wonder if someone up there if the black clouds can see me. And the clouds keep rolling on in. The supersonic jet plane taking people everywhere. Well, I wish that I could go there. I wish I could be somewhere. But I know I'm still right here. And I know here is still nowhere. And the clouds keep rolling on in. Well, tell me. Death, and how many times 
travel and meet like different skate communities around the world every community has its own like style and vibe to it let's go before man let's go before this this track um it's, i feel so lucky to be able to travel to such like exotic places and have like the locals you know know me and respect my skating and, like take me in and like get to know me personally and then like it's so cool to see like Oh, especially all the kids just so stoked on like having me in town. It's like such a lucky feeling. I guess like I don't know, super fun skating with them and I hope they're stoked skating with me and shit. James Kelly, by the way, I had the opportunity to go with him with Serena. We went to the local Pika for five years. They came here and did something that I think no one did until today. They were pulling the oil, giving oil to the oil at 50 per hour, 60 per hour, I don't know. It was crazy to see. Okay.
the fuck? <laughs> right? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell oh, yeah, guys. I used to see videos with James all the time and try to like, like what we were saying before, with the kids trying to do what we do. I was one of those kids at one point for sure. You know, I watched those videos. That's some rad stuff, so I want to learn how to do that. Um, and try to do it as best I could. So it's pretty cool to be able to skate with you know, the guys that, that I like, looked up to and look up to. Them. Continue to look up to. James Kelly. Grand Prix foi a última etapa do circuito mundial. De lá saiu o campeão. E na batalha tinha James Kelly, Adam Pearson e John Zister, todos com chances reais de ser campeão. I think in this race in Brazil, Mega Space, I think we're going to see a lot of a lot of guys getting pretty angry because they're getting cut off. There's going to be a lot of uh, disputes, and, but at the same time, there's going to be a lot of really good racing. You know, the Brazilian guys are passionate about their riding, and it's something you don't see elsewhere. Uh, racing is definitely like a big part of like skating and downhill skating. It's like fast and shit. <laughs> Right now we're about to be qualifying here at Mega Space. We got a big line, lots of fast riders. It's gonna be fun.
drop aqui, espero que seja o primeiro de muitos. Tô começando a pegar um pouquinho do que é a pista. E é muita adrenalina, muito, muito louco realmente a parada. Vou falar que eu acho que foi a maior experiência minha no Downhill até agora. Eu nunca tinha feito uma curva com tanta pressão, uma curva tão longa assim. Tomadas, os brasileiros estão bem e domingo é o dia de ver quem vai levar essa bolada aí. O nível também está altíssimo, então só se classificar já é uma vitória. Né? Anybody who skated with Brazilian guys, they know that like they take it serious. Like they, when they're downhill, you know, they, they go fast. They, you know, they're aggressive and they're they're really passionate about skating. Set, yeah. More power, man. Again. More power. Yeah. <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't have it yet. Alright, take it. Hi boys, let's go to live, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'm debating whether or not to use the rigor my front foot, too. Boys. Caralho, tô drenado, viu, mano? Tô com a sensação hoje que eu nunca tive antes, bicho, ó. Cabuloso. Sensação de que o quê? Sei lá, ficou com a sensação diferente hoje. Viu que é verdade? Ficou até drenado, filho. Não faz ideia, não. Sensação de pode. Bem-vindo! Ih!
campeonato é mundial, garota. Não, é não, teu. Não. <risos> Só pra tirar a Adriana, né, bobo? Man, the level here is crazy. Brazilians are so fucking fast. Like it's been a, it's been a mission trying to win, and uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's awesome. Campeão mundial conseguiu a vitória e é isso aí. Mega Grand Prix, sucesso até ano que vem, galera. Apenas 16 anos de idade. Continues to just be pushed as much as it has in the last couple of years. Hope it continues to support that the sport seen the last like three or four years continues to grow, and hope that continues to go to good people that um, make it continue to be awesome. I guess um, it's a really tight community. It's really kind of like it's really just good. And I don't want to lose that side of things. Um, but you know, everything gets bigger, uh, and it might get really bigger. It might not get really bigger. Uh, as it, uh, but uh Hopefully you got something out of that. <laughs> well, I think it'll grow huge and I think that people will start to look at it as more of a sport and less as just of a kind of fashion. I'm excited to see where it goes. I mean, who knows where it goes? It might disappear, it might become the greatest sport in the world. Anything can happen, man. Um, I don't know, it feels really welcoming. All the skaters here are awesome. Uh, I just feel really lucky to be here and be a part of it and be able to be shown around in like, such a different place by people who know it so well. Man, if I was better.
better at soccer. That's it, game one. Football. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Went to like the top, the top of this hill, and these kids came out, like came to the window. I was like, "Hey, what do you want?" <laughs> right now? No, no, no. Over here. Over here. It's like yeah. one drugs. What do you want? <laughs> Class, man. Look at your face. Yeah, yeah, we miss our opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason they're so good is because they have acai, you know? Like, if the rest of the world had acai, we'd all be happy. <laughs> Thank you. 